Well, the observations that I make are based on teaching English language, literature, public speaking, technical English and ESP to a lot of students in India and abroad. Now, based on the feedback that I received from my students, they all, 90 to 95 percent of them, have a reluctance to speak in English, though their vocabulary, grammar and language acquisition skills are perfect. Why does this happen? The main question is, have they done enough listening to begin their English language acquisition? Have you thought about how you acquired your first language, Malayalam? Well, we spend around two to three years doing nothing but listening, babbling, repeating what we heard till we could be fluent in our spoken language. It is after that that alphabet was introduced, followed by small words, sentences and spoken language at a higher level. Whereas in English language acquisition, the order is all topsy-turvy. We started with alphabet. Nursery rhymes in the place of real life conversations and grammar to follow which nailed the last nail on the coffin that is your fear of speech. So learning the grammar rules came for us in the first language only in our eighth grade. Why was it? Because language scholars in our language knew that acquisition of language and you know, free speech cannot come if they are hindered by rules and regulations. The British very carefully introduced grammar into the first stage of our learning because they knew that this would put fear of speech into us. Why do we still continue the same process? We have the freedom to change our educational system, to make changes that are relevant for the improvement and for the enhanced performance of our students. So this is where BMAX comes in with your language skills development. When beginners join BMAX, we give them intense sessions of listening and speaking. Many would complain that they don't have adequate vocabulary. But if you are a student who has completed senior secondary in the English medium, I assure you, you have enough vocabulary to communicate. But where does this fear come from? Fear comes from the early introduction of grammar rules, which, you know, actually stop, hinder and create unsurmountable blocks for the students. And the fear of mistakes is what stops them. So we have a project starting for the uh, beginners that is if a student joins the college and he or she is lacking the basic language skills we have a fortnight's foundation program wherein basic grammar speaking skills writing skills are introduced to them and they are made comfortable this is provided both online and offline and it is conducted by professional English tutors. So you have the advantage of doing the foundation if you join BMAX and if you have concerns about your basic language level. Furthermore, we offer Spectra, which is an online class conducted again by senior tutors who focus on your four modules from all the different perspectives. So whatever your problem is in language, it is Spectra that I recommend for you. If you are a beginner and not into the intermediate or exam batch, then I would recommend Roots, where again the fundamentals of grammar are done at a more basic level, like a beginner's level. If you observe little children playing with their toys, we see them babbling most of the times. We don't understand what they speak. But what they actually do there is repeat what they have heard their elders speaking around them. This process continues for the first two years and sometimes a little beyond that. 
This is the time that you get for free speech in your first language acquisition. In the second language acquisition, when you come to a school, this is totally lacking. You don't have listening time, you don't have speaking time, all you have is reading time and writing time. And that too, based on a, 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 a large group of grammar rules, which you know the students find unsurmountable most of the times. How does it help them? It doesn't help them at all. So we introduce the idea of speaking in the target language, starting with thinking in the target language. That means you need to think in English if you have a plan to speak in English. If you are thinking in Malayalam, translating to English and speaking at the same time, you are actually multitasking. And the tragedy is that you will never find enough parallel words when you translate from Malayalam to English. And to crown it all, the sentence structures are going to be totally confused. You miss out on essential grammatical structures in grammar when you translate from Malayalam to English. So thinking in English is what we introduce first. With whatever limited vocabulary you have, you can form sentences, you can communicate, you can make other people understand what you mean if you have the deliberation to do what you set out to do. It's up to you. So if you need language acquisition, you need to go into listening first. Listen to the target language. Listen to native speakers speaking the target language, not to focus on the accent, but to get the structure of the language, the usages and so on. So if you get the right words and the right usages, and if you speak, many people may not be able to distinguish you from a, a trained speaker or an acquired language speaker. I'm telling you this because uh, keeping in mind an example of a taxi driver in Muscat named Mohammed, when I met him in the airport, he was talking to an Englishman quite fluently. And I thought he was one of the officers in one of the government offices over there because many of them drive a taxi as a part-time, you know, uh, income-making option. I thought he was an educated Omani working in one of the government offices. But later when I talked to him, I came to know that he was just a taxi driver, a school dropout from grade 7. But his hobby was taking foreign nationals to their hotels and back. And every single minute that he spent in his taxi with his passenger, he would be talking to them continuously, getting as much information about them as possible, and in the process, learning the language. He doesn't know to write English. But if you hear him speaking English, you'll never make out that he is uneducated or he hasn't crossed grade seven. So this is the importance of listening and speaking. You can, you can make a language your own if you have the determination to speak it, to speak with native speakers, to speak with anyone who knows English around you. And the more you practice, the better you are going to be at the task. So please focus on your listening. Ample materials are available online of IELTS speakers as well as on other materials. Listen to whatever is your area of interest. Note down new words. Make sure that you use them in speaking and writing in the right context, which is very, very important. Please don't opt for synonyms and use them without knowing the context in which they are used. So this is it for today. I hope you all have a great time ahead. God bless you all. Thank you.